Good morning everybody, this is uh, Kevin and I'm down in Fernhurst in West Sussex. Now Fernhurst dates back to probably buildings around here in the 14th, 15th century. Um, timber frame buildings, there are several of those, but also 16th, 17th century. Uh, so we've got a lot of old historic buildings, very old buildings around here. So that over there is the post office, which I used to go into as a child. So I'm just coming up to this, it's Fernhurst Crossroads now. And some buildings over there, there used to be a bank over there. And that building there used to be Mr. Cole's, JG Cole's news agents. If I just pan around a little bit here, Anybody that will know, that knows Fernhurst knows that that wall there is very famous for all the youngsters to sit on. And we used to sort of get all sorts of looks, but where this modern phone box is, used to be one of the old fashioned ones with the, where you press A and B and you put your coins in. But that building over there where you see Van Road, that used to be Mr. Cole's uh, greengrocers and off license so he had um, quite a quite a bit of say in this village but he used to live down on Van Road I'm going to head down towards the cemetery and carry on the filming down there so I will catch you very soon so this is me now going into Fernhurst Cemetery now, this is a very well kept cemetery, the groundsmen do a fabulous job. But in this cemetery is, it's not like my home, the, the, the Furness is my home village really. Um, I was born at a place called Henley Common, in, uh, oh, sorry I was born in St George's Wood in Hazelmere but I lived my first 21 years of my life at Henley Common. I went to school in Fernhurst which I shall show you the school soon. But there are a num number, quite a number of family graves in here um, from my father's family and my mother's family. This is one of the graves of Priscilla and William Ralph. The Ralph side of the family is from my mother's side. I'm at the bottom, sort of halfway down the length of the cemetery now. I'm just going to pan round very slowly, and I will show you the other parts of the grave which are very important to me. One is just in front of me there, which is my grandparents, my mother's parents. So I'm just going to come round this way. They are running out of room now, and the, the, the section over the far end there is the last bit of cemetery that they can use. My, my grandparents, William Harry Ralph and Caroline Moe Ralph. My grandfather, he um, carried on the family business, which was a, a chestnut fencing company. This little pot there, that is my my father's parents, my grandparents Charles and Lillian, they moved from Hucknall in Nottinghamshire, um, probably in the late 60s, um, to come down this part of the country. This is the grave of my parents, Howard and Daisy. It's um, in a very difficult part of the cemetery because it gets very, very wet. But I do intend to create a little bit of a garden here, probably before the winter sets in. But further up there, I've got my brother, Keith. I, don't, I will not show you that one because there's a bit of a family dispute. But an, an uncle's up that part of it as well, my uncle Rusty, who was a Bevan boy in Nottinghamshire. These two graves here, are the parents of my grandfather uh, William Harry Ralph. This is this gentleman on this one here is his name is Ralph Ralph um, and he started the Furnace Chestnut Fencing Company 
which was at Henley Common. And the one next to the grave next to him is his wife, Lucy Louisa, um, who I, I, I never met. But I did know, I did know great granddad. I did, I did know him for a few years. The saddest little grave of all is this one here. And this is Ivan. Uh, he's born on, just got to be, get a bit closer here, 16th of February 1952, and he died on the 18th of February 1952. Now, Ivan was, or would have been, my brother. Um, he would have been between my um, brother Keith and myself. But I didn't find out about Ivan until, or who he was, until I started doing a bit of family history research. And I always heard the name, or the mention of Baby's Grave. And it turns out Baby's Grave was Ivan's grave. So that's uh, very sad. Um, I think my mother called it a uh, rushed birth or a um, quick birth or something. She did have, she had no, no knowledge that it was gonna happen. Uh, she knew she was pregnant, but did, just wasn't expecting Baby to come as quickly as, as he did. Hi, I'm now at the Furness Church, uh, which is St. Margaret's, and the name Fernhurst, I believe, is uh, a Saxon derivation, um, but it is possible that there was a church here much earlier. But this current church is of Norman origins, and I believe the chancery, and that is still original, but this used to be a shingle hung bell tower. There are still shingles at the top, but I believe the rest of it may have been at one point um, similarly done. But I'm just going to walk down to the road, which is Church Road. Just have a wander along the front. I'll try and keep it within shot as much as possible. It is rather a lovely little church, village church. And it's got the lovely big tree there. Now when I used to go to Fernhurst Primary School, which is just round the corner, we used to come to this church for our services. But there is actually a Sunday service going on at the moment. So I won't obviously go into that, but I will just wander up the church steps. Just take you up here. I don't want to obviously interrupt anybody. But the church seems rather full, which is lovely to hear and well, both see and hear. So I'm just walking along the front to this bit and comes to there. Right, a pan round then we've got the memorial which is always very well presented during the um, November the 11th Remembrance Day celebrations. I'm now at Fernhurst Village Green and the building you can see away there in front of me with the two uh, gable ends is the old Fernhurst Primary School which I used to attend and the build the, the porchway just there is where Mr Dumbrell and his wife the headmaster and, and his wife used to greet us at the door to welcome us into school very happy days there, although my very first day I can remember crying after my mum left me. But just to the peak of that roof behind those leaves there is a black bell which might just come into shot. And that was rung at nine o'clock every morning when they were being called into school. So those were our playing fields down there, which is now Furnace Recreation Ground. 
But as I pan round this way, you'll just get a sense of what some of the old houses would have been like years ago. Mr and Mrs Jones used to live in the far end of that block of cottages and you've got these lovely built, stone built houses here and this one and I believe there used to be a shop in that house there many you know, generations back but just over there is the red line and to the right hand side of the pub where the little extension is we used to walk around the back of there and the gentleman owned the pub and I can't remember his name used to sell us sweets from behind his counter so that's a little tour of Fernhurst for you and I hope you enjoyed them so I'll catch you on the next one bye for now